good morning. It's good to be in God's house. Amen. Good to see each one of you here today. Happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there today. And uh, it's a day to celebrate. Amen. And whether you uh, appreciate this day or, you know, let's be real. Sometimes we are ready to get to the next day. But I think we can all agree that we serve a good, good father. Amen. Stand with me as we go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Listen to what the psalmist writes in Psalm 105. Give praise to the Lord and proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all of his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Father, we give you thanks and praise for today. Thank you for allowing us to be gathered together here in your house. And Father, we just pray that as we worship, as we pray, everything that's done today, Father, would be giving you the glory and the honor that you are so worthy. And we pray it all in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Let's worship together. He's coming on the clouds, kings and kingdoms will bow down. And every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before him. So open up the gates, make way before the King of Kings. The God who comes to save is here to set the captives free. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before him. stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? I'll sing that again. Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? stop the Lord. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles, and every knee will bow before him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. 
His blood breaks the chains, and every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Oh, every knee will bow before Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be you may be seated. We just have a few announcements to go over and again just welcome. Thank you for being here today. If you're new, thank you for joining us. And uh, good morning to those who are joining us online as well. A couple of announcements to give to you. No youth ministry meeting this evening because of Father's Day. So we just hope that you enjoy some time with your, with your families. Uh, for those of you that ordered subs for the sub fundraiser, they are going to be delivered tomorrow right here at the church at 3.30. So we're going to be here from 3.30 to 4.30. If you would be able to swing by and pick up those subs, that would be wonderful. If you're not able to be here, then we're coming to you. And uh, we're going to bring them to your place. But maybe you could let one of us know today uh, whether you're planning on coming or whether you need us to bring them to you. Uh, we would love to be able to do that. Uh, again, 3.30 to 4.30, we'll be here. Come and pick them up. Otherwise, we're going to hunt you down. No, we're not going to hunt you down. But we're going to drop them off for you so that you can enjoy them. Some of you haven't paid for those yet. You can do that today. Uh, you can see Kayla at the info table on your after the service is over. A couple of people are still asking about donations. So the teenagers leave not tomorrow but next Monday and so there's still time if you want to make a donation towards one of them going to camp there is time that you can do that don't give it to a teenager uh, give it in an offering plate put it in an envelope uh, give it to Kayla at the table or Ron give it to somebody and they will make sure that it gets to where it needs to be but you can still give a donation it's 284 dollars for a kid to go to camp it's a week long and I promise you it's the best investment that you can make. And so uh, see us if you have any questions. The last announcement that I want to give real quickly is the July 4th is coming up pretty quickly. I don't know if you're aware of this, but from this Tuesday, we're only two weeks out from July 4th. And so it is crazy, crazy uh, to, hard to believe that it's, it's coming that quickly. So we've got our outreach happening that night. Lit It sets off their fireworks. This year will be on Tuesday, July 4th. And uh, they set those off in the park. And we get a couple of hundred people that will come to the property and watch them. And so we're just going to be a blessing to them. And so we're going to have a bounce house and we're going to have hot dogs and popcorn and water and all sorts of, of good things happening that evening. But we need your help in order to be able to do that. And so there's there's a sign-up sheet at the info table. We need some folks to come. The event itself is going to run from 7 till 10, uh, but we're going to run that in two shifts. So there's going to be a setup a team and a work the first part of it and then a second shift that comes in. We need help with grilling hot dogs and serving food, making popcorn. Uh, we're also going to do something this year called a go team. And so we're going to be in teams of two and we're going to go out to where the people are sitting and deliver water bottles and uh, uh, popcorn and hot dogs. Not everybody comes over and takes advantage of those things and so we want to go out to where they are. And so if you have any questions, please come and see one of us. Uh, we'd be more than happy. But those sign up that sign up sheet, excuse me, is in the back. We also need some donations, a couple of things. So cases of water. Uh, if you've been here over the past couple of years, we probably have 20 to 25 cases of water is what is needed for that evening. It's a hot evening and uh, we don't just limit a bottle or two. We tell people it's free and take as much as you need. So we need some cases of water that can be brought in over the next two weeks. Uh, we need a couple easy ups, if you know what they are. Usually they're 10 by 10 canopies that you can set up. We need two of those. We need some coolers to be able to put the water in. Uh, so if you have a cooler and you don't mind us borrowing it for that event, just make sure your name's on the bottom piece of tape or something that we, so that we know it's yours. Uh, and then we need a couple of wagons. I know that's an odd request for the July 4th outreach, but those go teams as they go out to where the people are sitting need something to put the water and the hot dogs and the popcorn in to be able to transport it easily. And so if you, uh, that, that is all back there as well, that information. No sign-up sheets for the donations, but you can bring them next Sunday or the following Sunday. There's only two Sundays uh, between now and that event. So we need your help. If you have any questions, uh, you can come and ask and see us. But we just want to be a blessing uh, to our community, and we want to just see people, one, enjoy the evening, but blessed that they came to Life Spring in which to do it. And so uh, stand with me.
we are going to take a moment and stand up, stand up. We're, we're going to take a moment and we're going to greet one another. We're going to say hello and uh, welcome each other if you haven't had a chance. We're also going to take up the tithe and the offering. And so not yet, not yet. You don't say hello yet. I have a quick instruction for you, all right? Our offering plates today are in the back of the sanctuary because of our guests and our visitors. And so we have four plates that are across the back. If you could take your offering, you can still bring it. You're just gonna bring it to the other side of the sanctuary. While you're doing that, greet one another. Let somebody know that you're glad to see them today. Go ahead and do that. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We love you. As we continue to worship you this morning, Father, would you help us to set our eyes, our hearts, and our minds on you this morning? No matter what we've walked through, no matter what we might be facing, Father, you're good. You're a good, good, good Father, and we just worship you this morning. In spirit and in truth, from the very core of who we are, not based upon our circumstance, not based upon our situation, but Father, we worship you because you're God. You're worthy to be praised. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment 
that I wake up until I lay my head and I will sing of the goodness of God. Sing that again. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Sing that part, your goodness. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running at One more time, your goodness. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. All my life you have been faithful. Think about it. 
about the church. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. been so, so good, with every breath that I am able, I will sing the goodness of God. All my life, just the voices. Come on, church. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Would you take a moment in your own words and would you just lift up a praise to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Father. You're so worthy. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. We worship you this morning. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Jesus. take a moment and call out to the Lord one more time. Lord, we need you this morning. Maybe that problem, maybe that situation, whatever it might be, would you just call out to him this morning? He's right here. He's, he's with us. He's ministering every need that you have. Maybe it's public and maybe you've shared it with others. Maybe nobody knows, but God's here this morning. The Holy Spirit is here and he desires to minister to you. So just cry out. Take these couple of seconds and just cry out, Lord, you see the need. You see the, an the, the, the answer that I need. You see the decision that lies ahead of me. Lord, whatever it is, church, you just cry out to him this morning. We need you.
you're my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you, you're my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Oh God, we just come to you this morning and we give you thanks and praise for who you are. Lord, that we can come together in your house and worship you. Lift up our voice, lift up our heart, lift up our words, God, everything, and just direct it to you because you are worthy. You're a good God. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we're struggling with, no matter what we're facing, you are good. And we declare that today. Now, Father, we just thank you and praise you. We pray, Lord, that you'll continue to minister throughout the service today. Those who are joining us online, those who are here in person, Father, we'll give you thanks, we'll give you praise, we'll give you glory, and we'll give you honor. And we do it today in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. Give the Lord a clap offering one more time, a clap of praise. You may be seated. We are so glad that you're here. And we're thankful for Chris Ivey and his team that are here today joining us. So I'm not going to say anything else. Guys, thanks for being here. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, your ministry. Thanks. My friends, I, I, I'm so excited 
uh, when I heard the, the pastor say today's verse. Because he didn't know the message I was talking about. But he had this awesome verse from Psalms. And I was thinking of a verse from Psalms today too. Psalms 150 verse 6 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I got a question for you. Are you breathing? Yes. Guess what? That means that's you. That's you then. It is your job as a Christian to praise the Lord. Absolutely. And that's our only agenda here today is to praise God. That's why we're here. We're going to praise him with this bizarre thing we call juggling that I love so much. And that's how we're going to do it. But, you know, I don't know what you juggle. I don't know what's in your schedule. I don't know how busy you are. But you've got to take time every day to say thank you to God. Every single day. It's your job. And just like you gave me a nice round of applause, I love that applause for God. That's so cool. God is so worthy of the biggest standing ovation in history. That's awesome. And that's what we're going to do today. That's our only agenda here today, to praise God and lift up his name. My friends, wherever you're sitting, I want to try something with you. Wherever you're sitting right now, would you just cross your arms? Cross. That's, this is more what my audiences look like. I feel at home. Good. Good. No, I want you to notice something. You notice how you have one hand tucked in? You see that you have one hand tucked in, you have one hand sticking out? Tucked in, sticking out, tucked in, sticking out. See that? Just go ahead and change them with me now. So that this hand is now tucked in, and this hand sticking out. See that? Now change the back. Now change the back. Now change the back. My friends, this is what juggling is. It's taking something simple and finding ways to make it harder. That's my whole life. I like that some of you gave up after about two seconds and just went for a hug. You were feeling good soon. But this whole idea of crossing and uncrossing arms, it actually inspired a juggling trick that I want to share with you today. Give some music. Let's give this a try. existing in other places. Give me some music. I want to go meet some people right now. I want to go meet some new friends in our life friend church here. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Oh, you're our speaker. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see people of average height at the show. Thanks for coming. That's good. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. 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 Good morning, Sal Booth. Good morning. I need you, big man. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. I need you. Give him a round of applause. Come here. I need you. Come here. Come on out here. All the way up here. Nice. Nice. Nice to meet you. Perfect. What's your name? Zach. I'm sure you guys know Zach. You know Zach? Yeah? You were behind the scenes with us, Zach, right? Today we're putting you in the spotlight, Zach. That's good. You can feel it. That's nice. Zach, uh, look, we should get, we're going to work together. We should get to know each other. Zach, what's your name? I knew that. That's good. Zach, how old are you? 15. 15. What grade are you going into? Ten. What was your favorite season of Saved by the Bell? Doesn't matter, Zach. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to do a trick together, Zach. I, I planned a really, really big trick for this morning, Zach. We were using the normal size juggling balls. We're going to go to the extra large juggling balls right now, Zach. Check that out. We have some younger children. Do you know how you get an extra large juggling ball? You take a normal juggling ball. You go to your backyard and you plant it in the ground and you water it and you fertilize it and you pick the weeds and then when you're done, you buy these on Amazon. Anyways, <laughs> Zach, here's what we got. We got one, hold another one there, two, that's good. Three, perfect. Four, all right, Zach, excellent, excellent. Now, Zach, you notice they're a little large, right? Okay, so I'm gonna juggle all four. But here's the thing, I can't start this way, it doesn't work. See, can you imagine how hard this would be? Look at you, yeah, yeah. You look like Santa Claus with snowballs. It's good, okay, that's good. So I'm gonna need your help, all right? So I'm gonna take three, you take one, okay? Stand right here next to me. Perfect, all right. I'm gonna juggle three. When I tell you to, you're just gonna throw that one straight up in the air, and I will reach out and grab it, hopefully, without smacking you in the face. I'll do my best, all right? So let's try that real quick, second. I'm juggling three, give me a nice high throw. 
that's good. Okay, that's, I'll just stage dive for it. That'll be great. Perfect sound. So I'm trying to give one more good throw there. One more good throw. Oh, that's, you feel like a volleyball set on that music. Perfect sound. Perfect. Okay, now. Once you throw that, I'm going to juggle all four. But there's no way I'm going to catch all four. No way. So that's where you come in again, Zach. I bought this specially designed juggling catching device. Uh -huh. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to throw that ball to me. I'm going to juggle all four. Then you're, not right now. It's a patience, Zach. Then you're going to grab this net. Grab the net. Not yet. Work with me, Zach. Grab the net. I'll juggle all four and I'll throw one back to you. And you catch it. All right, let's try that. All right, ready? I'm juggling three. I'm throw the ball on three, two, not whenever you feel like it. Throw the ball. <laughs> it's my fault, Zach. I picked you. Okay, so throw the ball on three, two, one. Throw the ball. Perfect. Oh, stage dive again. I'm, I'm juggling four. Grab the net, Zach. Grab the net. Grab the net. Zach, I'm not going to juggle this long, Zach. Grab the net. When you're ready. What are you doing? Blame me for that, aren't you, Zach? I could have just said something. Zach, we'll put the net over here where I can't mess it up. Okay, are you ready, Zach? I think we got this. I think we can get this all together now. You're a good sport, Zach. God bless you, man. So happy with that. All right, Zach. Let's get the three start. All right, Zach, you're gonna add the fourth one, I tell you. And then quickly grab the net. Quickly being the keyword. All right, Zach. Three, two, one. Throw the ball. Grab the net. Do you have the net? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, Zach. Coming back to you. In three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Cadell. That's my new friend, Zach. Well done, Zach. You better turn on the horn. Nice work, Zach. Oh, that was good, Zach. That was so good. So, you did that way better than rehearsal, Zach. That was nice. <laughs> Uh, can you give Zach one more big round of applause? Oh, yeah. oh, so glad I got to meet him. My friends, I want to give you a little history lesson in juggling right now. Believe this or not, true story. In the ancient Roman Empire, Rome actually hired jugglers. They hired jugglers to go village to village to teach the children juggling and balance with the idea that that would help them become better soldiers. True story. I gotta tell you, I'm very, very thankful that juggling is no longer necessary for war. That's incredible. I'm glad that it exists in this realm now and it can just be entertainment. But today, as a special treat, I wanna show you some ancient Roman juggling training. Give me some fanfare, let's go to Rome. Oh, <laughs> give me some music again, I want to get this. 
this clean for him. We make a little space. We'll go without the headband and switch. One more. So I brought a special guest with me. He's 13 years old. He's been juggling for the last 16 years. <laughs> this is the smart guy. <laughs> His name is Lucian. And he also happens to be my son. And today, I've invited him to share some of his juggling with you also. He's going to do a very different style of juggling right now. Probably you've maybe seen five balls juggle before. But you've never seen it this way. I love when God gives us a new perspective on something. You get to see a new verse in a brand new way, something you never considered before. Hopefully that's what this will be. Are you ready to do some juggling? Yeah. You ready to be awesome? Yeah. Come see the people. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucian Knight. But some of you are concerned. 
Chris, what if the axe falls this way? How can we still assure that you'll be hurt doing this trip? <laughs> I got you covered. I went to the hardware store and I found this, this sharp, pointy garden rake thing. Look at that. Three deadly little spikes there. I'm just gonna clip that here. That way, if the axe falls off, look at that, like right into an organ there. That's amazing, isn't it? But again, some of you are saying, Chris, that's good. But what if the axe falls this way? I've got you covered in spades. Literal spades. I'm gonna put this shovel <laughs> on this side over here with the metal sticking out. And that'll probably, I should be aimed just about yeah, right into a thigh. That'll be great. But again, Chris, what if the axe falls forward? How can we be assured you'll be crippled? Well, here's the thing. We're gonna go old school for this with the vampire wooden stake here. This is a great. I'm just gonna clip that right there. Now, take a look. Take a look at this quadrant of pain that I'm gonna put on my face for you right now. My friends, literally, the stakes could not be any higher. Oh, wait, that's a good Literally, the stakes could now not be any higher. But there's more. Because while I balance this, I'm gonna jump. Not three, not four, not five, but four. <laughs> Being that, while balancing this on my face. You know what, I have an extra hook there. Hold on a second. Do I have that? Oh yeah, it's right there, good. This envelope uh, has all my allergies and the medications I'm on and my emergency contact. If you could just make sure the paramedics get that, that would be wonderful. All right, folks. Axe on the face. Hit it. This doesn't even belong to me. This belongs to my friend Peter. 
It's Peter's. Wow. <laughs> I heard it. Anyways, <laughs> my friends, I'm going to put you out of misery for bad comedy, and we're going to attempt this trip. Give me some music. I don't know what's going to happen. This is a big challenge. Let's go for it.
I'm just checking, I know. Blaine, baby. <laughs> no, look, see, I knew that. We were married on 14K. She didn't have to put that in there. <laughs> Is that coming up? Do I need flowers? I'm like, anyway, today, I want to share a special with you. This is the very first piece of judgment I ever shared with my wife. I actually showed her this routine on our first date together. She knew from ground one what she was getting into. There was no mystery. And today, I want to share it with all of you. Give me some music.
right, so. Lucian's actually been working on a manipulation prop as well. Would you like to see it? Yeah. It's good. Come on, man. That would be awesome. He needs a big finish. I think I got him. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now, when I'm writing new routines, I'm very thankful for the people who created all this stuff, or even just the idea to throw a ball in the air. So I'd like to pay tribute to them by doing a Routine inspired from the era of Baldwin. Hit it. Yeah. 
at your own Minecraft. Uh uh, you're downstairs jumping bowling balls. Anyways, tell you what, now that you inspired me, dude, I want to try something. I want to do something intense. Intense. Hit it. Tell me something good about the show. It's hard. 
If you're like that, you're like me, I have a challenge for you. And that is to go back to the basics. In a minute, I'm gonna go back to the basics. The very basics of the juggling problem. The rings, the balls, and the clubs. I'm gonna go back to the basics. I invite you back to the basics. Tomorrow, when you wake up, before you get out of bed, just say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thanks for loving me. Try it. You might be blown away at the change in attitude God will reveal you. Back to the basics. Are you ready to go back to the basics? Me too. Let's do it. Boys, this is a brand new routine. You're going to be the first audience to ever see this. If it doesn't go well, you're going to be the last audience to ever see this. <laughs> this is brand new. Hit it, boys. Let's do it.
Revolution. God bless you guys. Thank you so much, church. One more time. That was awesome. Let's give it up. Thank you guys so much for being here and, and, and sharing your gifts and talents. I, that, I, you know, that, woo, I can't still do the thing. <laughs> Seriously, you lost me. After the, you said switch, I was done. I just put my hands down. I couldn't do it. So, But thank you guys so much. Thank you for not only sharing your gifts and talents, but giving glory to the Lord through it. Everybody has a gift and a talent, right? And we should use it for his glory. And I also love what you said, too, is we can't outgive God. We just want to be a blessing to Chris and his family who are here today. And uh, just, uh, you know, be able to give towards them. So everything that we took up in the first offering goes as our tithe and our offering. The offering plates are in the back. Anything that you would be willing, uh, Lord willing, uh, to put in that plate is going to go to Chris and his ministry. And so we want to give you an opportunity. Uh, in just a moment, we're going to have a couple of moments to transition into to our lunch, give those who are uh, helping us to get everything out here to be able to do that, give you an opportunity just to have a time of fellowship and shake one another's hand one more time, about five or six minutes that will take, and those plates are back there. So uh, we're going to pray in just a moment, but as the Lord would lead you, would you be willing to drop in a gift or an offering for them just as a blessing, taking out the, their time and, and being with us and ministering to us. So uh, thank you so much for being here and let's close in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you and we praise you for who you are. We give you glory and honor and let everything that has breath praise the Lord. What a great word for us today uh, as we are gathered in your presence as we get ready and leave this place after our lunch. And Father, we just want you to receive all the glory and the honor. You're a good Father. We worship you today. And now we ask you, Lord, that as we give, that you would take this gift, take this offering, that you would multiply it for their ministry. And Father, help them to do things and go places that they've never done or gone before. Lord, we'll give you thanks. We'll give you praise. We'll give you glory and honor. And we do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Take a couple of moments, shake hands, fellowship. The offering plates are back there for Chris and his team. And then we'll come back in just a couple of minutes, give you the instructions for lunch. Uh, God bless you.